Well, good evening, everyone. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond, um, and today is May the 1st of 2015. The time is five minutes till seven. I thought I'd get on here uh, before it got dark again. Um, I don't like that yellowish background. Like I said, it's the, it's the lights out here, but I feel like that I want to talk tonight um, about what I will say religious fanatics. Okay, <clears throat> um, first of all, welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. I love you. God loves you. And But anyway, um, there's a lot of people that practices uh, being religious, being religious, but not really, re not a true, uh, not a true relationship with the Lord. And um, I am not, I don't classify myself as a religious fanatic. It's not about religion. It's not about religion. It's about a personal relationship with the Lord. Pure and simple. And like I said, man-made, all, the, all these different denominations, man-made, man-made them. We were all supposed to be in one mind and one accord. That's the way it was supposed to have been, but um, man made all the, the different religions. And But I felt like I wanted to come, get on here and talk about that a little bit. And, um, you know, a lot of people will say, well, I, if I'm a Christian, if I, if I turn my life over to the Lord, I'll have to give up this or I have to give up that. Like I said before on other videos, you come to him and then he will, will walk with you and then you, you will make the right choices and right decisions. I mean, he's helped me a lot. He has helped me a lot. And <clears throat> when I do, I'm I'm the kind of a person that when I feel driven to do something, I will see it through to the end. And like I said before, <laughs> sometimes it's caused me to get in, in trouble a few times by, by being that way. But that's the way my dad was. When he felt driven to do something, he would, he would see it through to the end. And that's the way my daddy was. And but anyway, um, I know there's a lot of you that doesn't understand some things that I've said. Some of these videos um, are meant for uh, family members, and um, I can't make certain videos and and get on another channel. I can't do that either because it's all under uh, under my name, and I, I can't get on. You know, so you know, whoever sees these videos, well, they'll everybody will see them. So, and uh, but anyway, um, that's what I wanted to do real quick on here tonight. This first one here, I wanted to talk about having a personal relationship with the Lord. And like I said before, you don't have to be perfect because well, nobody is anyway. Nobody's perfect, and a person has to has to. Um, a person can talk to the Lord about anything, you know, and we don't know how much time is left. We don't know how much time is left. I'm going to keep an eye on my kittens out there. <laughs> but we don't know how much time is left. Being serious, we don't know. We don't know. We could have a few months. We could have <clears throat> maybe, maybe another year or so. We don't know. I mean, all the signs and everything is pointing towards his coming really, really soon. And some people might think, well, you, you, you just beat that subject to death. Well, that's what I'm on here to do is to talk about Jesus, to talk about Jesus. And if that makes me a religious fanatic, well, then I guess I'm a religious fanatic. But I don't consider myself that like that. I'm still me. I'm still Gloria. I'm still Gloria. But the Lord is making me a better, making me a better person. And like I said before, I've always been a giver. I've always been a giver, and people have taken advantage of me through the years because of that. And the Lord's teaching me to be stronger. And and be able be able to stand up for myself, for my rights, for my rights too. And God is helping me. He's helping me. I've always been kind of shy, you know, and I, I still am. <clears throat> but, um, like I said, doing these videos, it makes me happy. 
they make it makes me happy doing this and but I'm gonna make this a little bit short but I just wanted to, again I wanted to say hello to er everybody and Jesus loves you I love you one and all and um, I may get on here here after a bit maybe read a little bit out of the Bible I don't know for sure yet but you can feel free to to, to, uh, to get in touch with me. Any of you out there can feel free to get in touch with me. You know, um, and like I said, there, there's a lot of of uh, loose ends that that I feel it needs to be taught needs to be tied up before the Lord does come. People needs to talk, be able to talk to other people. You know, and so, but anyway, um, I was going to sing. Uh, <clears throat> I had a, I had a taco earlier, and I had a lot of taco sauce, so I may wait a little while. <laughs> um, but we're up to six minutes now and uh, everything, so, but uh, anyway, I love you again, and, and God loves all of you. He loves all of you, and I'm going to keep singing. I hope that I pray that you will turn your lives over to the Lord, just as you are, just as you are. I know there's people out there that's lonely and depressed and sad. I've said this before, lonely and depressed, sad, don't know if, if, if they should do this or do, the, do that, you know what consequences, whatever, that, that will come from whatever decision is that, that you make. Well, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And He will, he will help you. He will, he, will, he will help you to make right decisions about things. I know. You know, and there's, there's been times that I thought, well, should I have said this? Or, you know, should I, should I have done this or should I have done that? Well, you know, again, sometimes... Me, me being feel, feeling dri feeling driven to do things has got me in trouble a few times and I'm not really that outspoken really I never well I never was outspoken I always, like I said I kept things to myself a lot um, but that got me in you know oh, I'm getting I'm getting tongue twisted <laughs> tongue tied but it's up to almost eight minutes, so I'm going to get ready and cut this off, I think. Now, that eight minutes re went really, really fast. But I am not a religious fanatic. You know, to, to those of you, you know, I just want to let you all know that I just love Jesus. A personal relationship with the Lord, that's what it's all about. It's not about any denominations or nothing like that. Pure and simple. And I still lean towards the Pentecostal belief, yes. But it's about Jesus. It's, it's time now. It's down to the bare wire now. And never mind whether you're Baptist, Pentecostal, Presbyterian, whatever. It's all about Jesus. Pure and simple. Plain and simple. So I'm going to do my prayer, okay? Okay. Precious Heavenly Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Tears are a language that God understands. He sees the tears of a broken hearted soul. He sees the tears and hears them when they fall. God weeps along with them. And he takes them by the hand. Tears are a language that God understands. Just, just turn it over to, to Jesus. Let him lead and guide you. 
Okay, I want to say good night. Well, for right now, we're up to over 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off. And remember, Jesus loves you just the way you are, and I love all of you too. And we truly do have a friend in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. That's a good song too. So, all right, I'm going to go for now. Okay, till, till a little, little bit later. It is now 7 o'clock p.m., May the 1st of 2015. Okay, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.